what do we have? We've got a smaller rectangle and a larger rectangle, which is shaded in with pink. Okay, what is the polynomial in standard form representing the area of the shaded rectangle? So what I want to find out is if I'm just talking about the shaded pink area, okay, what would be the area representing that? How am I going to figure that out? It's quite simple, actually. What we're going to do is we're going to want to find the area of the large rectangle. So this entire area is if there's nothing inside of it. And then what we want to do is subtract the area that we find for the smaller rectangle because that's what it's replacing. It's this big rectangle here. We're taking this small rectangle and we're placing it right in the middle. So that's actually taking away from the overall large rectangle's area. Now, why is this problem tricky? It's tricky because finding the area of these rectangles is different than just area equals length times width, which we know. But our length and our width, they're written as binomials. x plus 6, x plus 3, x minus 2, x minus 4. So we have to understand how to multiply binomials to find areas. And then we're going to have to subtract polynomials to find the overall. So let's get right into it. One method that I like to use is the FOIL method. If you're not sure what FOIL stands for, it is first, outside, inside, last. That is the order in which you want to multiply two binomials together. If you're not sure of that technique or that strategy, you can go back and watch one of my previous videos where I teach the FOIL method. I also have a couple of other videos where I show you some different methods if you're not a fan of this one. But I'm going to use the FOIL method for today. So what I'm going to say is x plus 6 times x plus 3. And what that is going to get me is the area of my large rectangle. I can do the FOIL method very quickly by saying my first terms are an x and an x. So when I multiply those together, I get x squared. My outside is a 3 and an x. So I multiply those together and get 3x. Inside is 6 and x or 6x. And my last is 6 times 3, which is going to give me 18. I then want to combine my like terms of 3x and 6x. So my final standard form polynomial would be x squared plus, these are going to combine to make 9x plus 18. There is my area for this large rectangle. x squared plus 9x plus 18. All right. can then erase that. And remember, I need to subtract my area of my small rectangle. And that will give me what's left over here in the shaded area. So I'm going to go back over here to this side of the problem where I'm going to write out my binomial times my binomial of the smaller rectangle. That's x minus 2 times x minus 4. You have to be a little bit more careful here because we're dealing with some negative values. Make sure we don't make some silly errors on our, on our work. So first, x and x are going to make x squared. Outside, x and negative 4 is going to make negative 4x. Inside, negative 2 and x will make a negative 2x. And my last, a negative times a negative will equal a positive, and 2 times 4 is 8. So again, I need to combine my like terms. So my like terms here are negative 4x and negative 2x. Those are going to combine to negative 6x. Everything else gets brought straight down. And this is my area of the smaller rectangle. So I can take this information right now, slide it on over here. And instead of the small re rectangle, I'm going to write down the area that we found for it, which was x squared minus 6x plus 8. All right. Now I'm taking this trinomial, subtracting this trinomial. Take your time here. There are possible errors and misconceptions that could come into play. x squared minus x squared. Those are going to cancel. Gone. There's nothing left to write down. Now this is where I see mistakes happen from students, so pay close attention. 9x minus negative 6x. 
I'm subtracting a negative. What am I really doing when I'm subtracting a negative? I'm adding. So 9x plus 6x is going to end up giving me a 15x. And then 18 minus 8, that is going to subtract to make a positive 10. So my final result is 15x plus 10. 15x plus 10 is going to represent the area that I have for this pink shaded area of the large rectangle. So what polynomial in standard form, standard form because 15x comes before the constant of 10, represents the area of the shaded rectangle? There we have it. Okay. Hope this makes sense to you. Study this. You're going to be asked these questions when you're dealing with polynomials, trinomials, binomials, polynomials, all that good stuff. We're going to ask you to do some complex stuff like this, which is really just a basic question of find the area of this large rectangle, taking away the area of this smaller rectangle. All right. Good luck on your upcoming test. Study hard and tune in for more work.